Welcome back to another edition of the Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Cincinnati Reds franchise. We go over top prospects from AA Chattanooga up to AAA Louisville. Last time we were in AAA going over left-handed starter Brandon Williamson, and this time we're going to be going back down to AA Chattanooga to take a look at another left-handed starter in Logan Allen. Logan Allen is 24 years old. Like I said, he is a left-handed pitcher. He stands 6 feet tall and weighs in at 180 pounds. He was acquired by us in Season 1 at the deadline when we traded Tommy Pham and Mike Moustakis to the Cleveland Guardians in return for Nolan Jones and Logan Allen. He was a second-round pick by the Cleveland Guardians in the 2020 draft at a Florida International University. He was actually a two-way player at FIU as well, played first base, never hit for power though at FIU, so probably partly why he's still not a two-way player. He is also the first FIU Golden Panther to ever play on the U.S. National Collegiate team, and he is currently sitting at a 67 overall and a B potential. As far as Logan Allen's repertoire goes, he consists of a two-seam fastball, a circle changeup, and a curveball. Fangraphs actually has his secondary pitches listed as a splitter and a slider, while MLB.com has them listed as a changeup and a slider. But I mean, a splitter, it's, a, it's split change as a thing, so I'm probably going to leave the changeup to be a circle change like it is in game because that is his best pitch. But I am probably going to change that curveball from a curveball to a slider because those are two entirely different things. But what I do know for sure about Logan Allen is that he is a soft-tossing lefty. That two-seam fastball he has will sit around 88 to 90 miles an hour. Has great command with it, though, so it plays much better than a 90-mile-an-hour fastball normally would play at this level of baseball. In general, though, he just has great command. MLB.com has him at a 60-grade control, while Fangraphs have him currently at a 45 uh, command, but potentially up to a 55. And those are his ratings for this season in real life, so obviously we are a bit more past that in this universe. And like I said, his changeup is absolutely his best pitch. It sits anywhere from 78 to 82 miles an hour. He will throw it in any count. He'll use it to get ahead in count. He'll use it to get back into counts. He'll use it to induce swings and misses. He'll use it to induce ground balls. It is just a go-to pitch in any count. It doesn't matter. It is a great pitch. It is exactly what you would expect from it being his best pitch and a 60-grade pitch from everything that I've seen in his scouting reports. Now, like I said, if I do change any of his pitches, it would be the curveball because it's just not the same thing, and it's also not even the same speed. The curveball in games, it's like mid-70s, very slow, looping thing that is like impossible to hit if you face that in game. But he actually does throw a slider that I've seen described as low in the 80s. Also, definitely not his best pitch. MLB.com says it's not particularly sharp, but it does work because he locates it well, as you would expect from a guy with 60 grade command. And just as you would expect from a guy who's a soft tossing lefty. I mean, if you're going to throw not in the 90s, you got to be a guy who has great command, and Logan Allen is definitely that. And then as far as Allen's ratings go, his stamina sits in the 70s, so, you know, it's not the, the best stamina, but it's also very workable as a starter. As far as his hit per nine ratings go, like hit per nine, K per nine, walks per nine, home run per nine, they're all pretty solid. Anywhere, like, I think his hits per nine is, like, the low 50s, the K per nine's a bit higher, the walks per nine is about the same as the hits, and then the home run per nine, I believe, is, like, high 40s. So all still pretty, they're, they're pretty okay. You know, not, not the greatest, but he is going to improve them as he keeps progressing in his career, obviously. Like I always say with these guys, their ratings will keep getting better. And if we take a look at his stats, last season in 2022, he actually had 72 and a two-thirds innings pitched, 80 strikeouts, a 2-1-1 ERA, and a 2-5-3 FIP in AA Chattanooga. Cleveland had him in low A for whatever reason before we traded for him, so he did not have any stats previous to that. He only picked up what he got there. And then this year so far, we are obviously still very early on here in 2023, so he only has 39 innings pitched, 34 strikeouts, a 3-9-2 ERA, and a 3-6-3 FIP. Obviously not the best numbers, but they're also by no means bad whatsoever. And 
There is still a lot of time in the season to improve those numbers. But as far as Logan Allen's future goes in this organization, he is absolutely one of our top pitching prospects. Absolutely a guy we're going to be looking at to be a regular starter for us at some point in the big leagues. And the thing about him is that since he is a soft-tossing, weak contact guy for the most part, he can strike people out too. But he's, you know, if you're going to be successful throwing 88 to 90 mile an hour fastballs, definitely more of a soft-tossing, weak contact guy, especially when you have a two-seamer. A lot of ground balls being worked with that pitch. And with that profile, that really doesn't translate to being a reliever at all. So it's not like we can have him in the bullpen if we just, you know, we want him on the big league team, but we don't really have a room for him in the rotation. He's a guy who needs to be a starter. If he's going to be successful for us at the big league level up in Cincinnati, he is a guy who needs, 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 needs to be a starting pitcher. And I doubt he's ever like an ace potential type pitcher, but he absolutely has the potential to be a solid number three starter type for us. And he could be up in the big leagues at some point this season once the purge of our pitching staff happens at the trade deadline. But he's also not on the 40-man currently, so we might just leave him to keep developing down in the minors and not, you know, have him come up here and get shelled or something to start. So we might just leave him down there and keep developing the rest of the season. And then once season three, 2024, starts, he could potentially be in the rotation from the get-go. It just depends on what I decide to do with the rotation. Are we going to get some guys to fill in and be stop gaps? Or are we just going to say, hey, let's just play the young guys right from the get-go and see how things go? If we decide to go with option number two or option number one, whichever one I decide the option for that would be, where we play the young guys and we just see what, I ha what we have with our young guys and see if they can develop while in the bigs, then he is absolutely a guy who's going to be in the rotation next year. It's just a matter of which plan I decide to go with. But that will wrap things up here for this edition of the Cincinnati Reds prospect profile here going over left-handed pitcher Logan Allen. I've been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I am saying Rutgers, not just baseball, Rutgers in every sport absolutely owns the Indiana Hoosiers. And they're going to win the baseball Big Ten tournament. Yeah.